Hey Black Beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, be sure to like, comment, and you're ready to subscribe, girl. If you are a subscriber, you get a seat. Yes. You get a seat. But if you're not a subscriber, you have to stand up. Sorry, not sorry. Hmm. But anyway, yes, let's get right into the video. So today we're going to do a story time. I'm going to get right into it because I know y'all miss me. I've been going for a while. We're going to be talking about the time that I got jumped. Not only did I get jumped, me and my mother and my grandmother got jumped. Okay. I know that sound weird. Me, my mama, and my grandmother got three generations of bitches. We got jumped. Okay. Now. What makes this bad is that we got jumped. My friend that was with me, she ain't help. Really, nigga? Let me give you a little backstory so everything makes sense to you guys, okay? This happened when I was in middle school. I was living in the Bronx. I'm not going to disclose the block because she still lived there to this day. So my aunt moved to this block, and she had six kids already. Two of them was girls. So, me being a cousin, because, you know, I was raised by my grandmother, the only child. So, who I'm going to play with? What I'm going to do? Like, you know, at the time, I'm in middle school, so it's not like playing, but, it's, you know, we still going outside. We outside with it. Like, we young. So, I used to go over there all the time. So, when she first moved, we was helping my aunt and them moving the furniture. Long story short, these girls from the next building, they did not like us. We did not do nothing to them. We used to walk to the store. They used to be like, oh, this bitch thinks she cute. Like, no, honey, you think I'm cute because I didn't say anything about being cute. I'm walking to the store, getting me a bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll. Like, I'm not bothering you. But, you know, they wasn't with it. They always used to say stuff, call us bitches, mean muggers, even their mother used to come at us like we little girls i hate when adults hate on little girls that's so stupid to me but anyway right back into the stories it was it was one for a day we was all outside and i was walking it was me my pregnant friend tiara i'm gonna just say her name my it was me my pregnant friend tiara and her dude so we was walking towards my aunt building now the girl all her friends was outside the mother was outside and they was doing what they normally do Mind you, my aunt had lived there for about a year already. So, like, she already been living on the block for a year, buddy. So, it was old. I used to just listen to them talk stuff all the time. I never used to say nothing. I just used to ignore it. Me and my cousins, we used to ignore it. Like, what's the point of even fighting these girls? Like, we don't know them. Like, what they want to fight for anyway. So, we used to ignore it. So, it was one day. Like I said, I was walking with my pregnant friend, her dude. I was looking cute. Like, my grandmother just got her little refund check. And she had took me shopping, like, two weeks before that. I was wearing one of the fits. And I think homegirl was, she ain't like that. She ain't like that. So, she was on the porch, and she was like, oh, this bitch thinks she cute. Telling her mother that. And is, and is cute. What's up? Like, because you've been talking shit to me for a year, and I have not said nothing to you. And I'm tired of letting you come at me. So, what's up? Like, what, what we about to do? Like, you're annoying at this point. You're dead ass annoying. So, the girl get off the stoop and she start walking towards me. So, I'm like, this bitch is mad annoying. So, she walked towards me and she just punched me in my face. She punched me in my face. And I'm shocked because I'm like, this bitch just punched me? Like, hold on. So, we start fighting. I fall she gets on top of me and then I look to the side her mother runs and now her mother's hitting me too so now I'm sitting here like your daughter was already winning she was on top Say I what? fell why are you jumping in you don't need to jump in I'm already getting beat up like sis I'm already getting my ass beat you don't have to jump in like she's already winning are you dumb so she jumps in and I was just like, that's weird. So I'm like, oh, so y'all want to jump me? Y'all want to jump me? So I called my mother. Mind you, I lived around, right around the corner from my aunt. So I lived like, okay, say if she lived on this block. If you walk down, one, two, three. I lived like three blocks away from my aunt. So I called my mother, which my mother was at my house. I'm like, mommy, these bitches just jumped me. You need to come down here. So my mother like, what? As soon as I said these bitches jumped me, my mother just ran. Like, she was there. 
I kid you not, like five minutes later, I looked down the block. My mother's coming down the block. She's waving her arm. She's like, y'all want to jump my daughter? Y'all want to jump my daughter? Y'all want to jump my daughter? Mind you, she done walked out her slippers. I see her slippers coming off. She's walking down the block barefoot. Y'all want to jump my daughter? Y'all want to jump my daughter? At this time, the mother and the daughter had ran back upstairs. They had ran back upstairs. So now, we at the window. Mind you, I had told everybody they jumped me. Everybody in my family. I don't care because this is my first time getting jumped. And... I, I didn't like that because, sis, she was already winning and you didn't have to do nothing. Like, I didn't like that she, her mother still jumped in. And, like, it wasn't fair to me. Like, no. I'm, I'm calling everybody in my family. I call my cousin. Mind you, my cousin at the time, if you seen my other story times, my cousin baby D. I call all my cousins. I call my mother. I was not playing. I call all my friends. My friends, we all made a plan. Okay, the next day we gonna pull up and we gonna wash them. So my friends didn't come this first day. So we sitting there and she come down the block. So now we we, we at they we looking up at them because they live on a top flight, like top flight security of the world, Craig. They live on the top floor. So we looking at them. We like, yo, come downstairs. Come downstairs. Mama's like, y'all want to jump my daughter? Come upstairs. Next thing you know, I tell baby D jump out of a cab. She like, what's up? Y'all want to jump my cousin? Come downstairs. Y'all want to jump my cousin? Come downstairs. Nobody trying to come downstairs. They was laughing. They was like, ah, hey, you mad? Ah, that's why you got beat up. Yeah, ah, you mad? Yes, I am mad. Come downstairs because I'm mad. That's why I'm right here because I'm mad. You're right. What are you saying? Like, come on. Let's go. Come downstairs. Like, let's get this fair one. Like, don't walk to me and punch me. Because, honestly, when she walked to me, I did not know she was going to punch me. So, it just shocked me. And I was just like, by the time I was unshocked, I was ready to beat the fuck up. So, I was like, it doesn't make sense to even get mad. Like, obviously, I'm mad, though. Like, come downstairs. So, she, they did not want to come downstairs. They just saying all of this stuff. So we waited out, we waited out, because I figured if I call mad people, I know she's going to call people. So it was like, we waiting. So one of her cousins come walking down a block. She got on sweat. She walking, she walking by herself too. So now I'm looking at her, my cousin looking at me, I'm looking at my cousin. We look at the girl, we run over there, and we just pounce on shorty. Like, we just beat the shit out of this girl. We kicked her under the gate. We threw her sidekick. That's when sidekicks was popping. She had a sidekick, Alex. I took that shit, and I threw that shit, and cracked it. Then her father came and was trying to break it up while me and my cousin jumping her. And I'm like, no, they jumped me. They jumped me. No, let me get this one. Let me get this one. We jumped the shit out of that bitch. By the time we finished, she ain't even get into the second fight that I'm about to say now. So... Now, they're like, oh, she jumping her, she jumping her. They run downstairs. So, now, it's two Spanish girls with long hair. They jump on my aunt's back. Like, that was weird. They jumped on her back. My aunt took them by their hair and was just clonking them bitches together. It looked like she was clonking them, but she really was swinging them by their hair because their hair was so long. And I'm just like, yes, it's getting lit. This is what you call a real fight. Like, we about to get it. So... The mother come downstairs, she grabs my cousin. Not talking about baby D, I'm talking about another cousin. She grabs my other cousin. I'm not going to give my other cousin a name because she not in the story a lot. She grabs my other cousin, they start fighting in the car. Like, they fighting and my cousin falls in the car like this. So now, they fighting each other. So now the girl come downstairs last. So I'm like, yes, yes. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Yes, yes. So soon she come down, me and I start getting it. Boom, boom, boom. We was get, we was getting a fair one for like a good thirty seconds, and I was giving it to her because I was mad because she beat me up. Like I was mad. I'm not about to come on here and sugarcoat shit. Like I win every, I won every fight in my life because I didn't. I was mad. I was. I was pounding this girl face into the car. Then my mother jumped in. She started pounding. So now we both doing her. And I'm like, yeah, this is how you jump somebody. What you and your mother did, that fake punk shit, that's whack. This how you really jump a bitch if you want to jump a bitch. Mind you, this is my first time ever getting jumped. And it's my first time ever jumping someone. So it was like, this how you jump a bitch right here. This how you do it. We doing that girl and doing her face filthy so then my cousin baby d she like yeah so she trying to run over there and get her ends some the father of the girl that we jumped 
he he picked my cousin up like nah you too big you too big shorty let them fight just let them fight because baby d baby d baby d was baby d if you get what i'm saying like she was not no small chick like so she was like he was like nah you too big let the fight let the fight so she mad because she getting she getting held my cousin in the car fighting we still beating the shit out of them so then the fight just break up so we all talking our shit. You know how fights go. Everybody talking their shit. Everybody talking up their shit. We go upstairs. They go upstairs. Fight done with. It's over with. It's, it's over. There's no more. The next day, we outside, me and my cousin. She on there sitting on the porch with our friends. One of her Spanish friends comes. She comes around the corner. And she's like, yo, so what's up? What's up? Y'all wanted to jump my friend yesterday. Y'all wanted to jump my friend. Mind you, it was me and Baby D. We sitting in front of the building. So she come and she goes straight to Baby D. So Baby D, I'm looking at Baby D like, Baby D didn't even fight, shorty. Like, it was me. She just started squaring up with my cousin. Why the fuck did Baby D beat the shit out of this girl? 10 seconds. Beat the shit out of her. I didn't even have to jump in. It's so serious. She beat the shit out of her. Came to me. Tapped my hand, stood back, and then I beat the shit out of her. Because how did you have the audacity to come over here after we just had a fight yesterday? It's over with. You missed it, shorty. You missed it. You're not in the fight. Leave us alone. We beat the girl up. That's it. It's over with. Everybody go their separate ways. We go upstairs. It's over with. Third day. This one to get real. Third day. So, she already... Once we beat the Spanish girl up, she already told me... She already said it when she was talking her shit. She coming with her friends. And you know them Spanish girls, they got a lot of friends. They have a lot of friends, okay? So I believed her. So I told all my friends, I'm like, listen, it's lit. Pull up. We about to get it cracking. It's over. Let's go. So the next day we get out of school, we all mob over there to my to my aunt building, and we all sitting out there for hours. We was out there what three four hours chilling, chilling. Like what's up? Like waiting, no action, waiting. Nobody come. Knocked on the girl doing everything. Nobody come. So now at this time, you know we me still in middle school. It's about time for people to get home to their parents. It's going to be dark in the next hour. So, I walk my friends all to the bus stop and they leave. Before we walk back to my aunt block, we had went to my friend house. Because she lived close to us too. So, we had walked to her house. And my aunt had called us and she's like, yo, it's mad people outside. It's mad people outside. They want child. It's mad people outside. Mind you, my aunt, she just had a baby like a couple months ago. So, she's like, yo, like, how am I supposed to go outside and fight? It's mad people outside. Y'all need to come handle y'all shit. So, me and mama look at each other be like, all right, so my friend, we in her house, this bitch throwing bleach in the bag, knives, pepper spray, she got hammers, she got locks and socks, um, pneumonia, she throwing everything in the bag, she like, these bitches ain't about to jump you, it's lit, like, watch what we do, watch this, watch this. So, we walk back over there, we get to the corner, we instantly stop. When I say it was so many girls, and they had boys with them. But when I say it was so many girls, and this was a school day, so many girls, fat girls, skinny girls, tall girls, short girls, Dominican girls, African girls, every every race, every size, every shape, some in uniform, some in regular clothes, everything, everything. All types of weapons. The It was mad niggas there. It was mad niggas. And I'm looking like... No boy jumped in. No boy was even there. So why is the dudes here? Like, y'all dudes about to fight females? Like, that's weird. And why y'all want to fight anyway? We already fought two days in a row. So I'm looking at my mother. I'm just like, it's mad people. It's mad people. My friend, she like, fuck that. We got mad weapons. It's lit. So I'm, th I'm looking at her bag now. I'm looking what I could take. I'm like, damn, all right, she right. So I pick up the lock and the sock. I'm like, all right, this is what I'm going to take. So my mother took something, and the girl, she just had the whole bag. So I'm thinking we go up, because when I tell you with so many people, if I had to count, I would say at least 75 people. At least. It probably was more, because they was inside the building all the way up to the second floor, and all outside in the middle of the street on the sidewalk by her building. I'm like, it was so many of them 
the cars couldn't even get by. So my mother like, I'm not about to stand on this corner and be no punk over no little ass middle school girls. I'm not about to do that. So I looked at my mother. I'm like, all right, we just got to take one for the team. Like, it's too late. I can't call my friends back. They already at, on a bus. Like, by the time I do all that, I'm, we might as well just take this ass whoop and, like, take one for the team. Like, so we start walking over there. Now they start walking towards us. So they stop. We still walking towards them. So a guy's in the front. He's like, oh, y'all jumped my daughter yesterday. Which one of y'all jumped my daughter yesterday? Which is a Spanish girl he's talking about. I'm like, nobody jumped your daughter. Your cousin gave, my cousin gave her 10 seconds and I gave her 10 seconds and we both beat that ass. That's what happened. One-on-one. -on -one. Nobody jumped nobody. Now, this bitch here, we jumped her. Yeah, because her and her mother jumped me. We jumped her cousin because her and her mother jumped me. Yeah, that's what happened. He was like, well, she said y'all jumped her, so y'all gonna have to get the fair one. All right, if we gonna have to get the fair one, why you bought 75 soldiers? Like, it's only three of us. It's only three of us. Like, I already know what it was about to be. So, my mother, like, fuck that shit. So, my mother starts squaring up with the older sister. And I start squaring up with the Spanish girl that we had ready for yesterday. So, I'm looking at the Spanish girl. But the, the one, her, her mother that jumped me the first day was standing next to the Spanish girl. So I said, fuck this Spanish girl. Now I'm squaring up with her because I really wanted her. So mind you, I got the lock and sock in my back pocket. So we still squaring up. She swing, I duck. So now I go in my pocket and while she swing, I just, woo! If I could go back, I just, boom, clocked her right in her fucking shit. Right in her face with that lock in that sock. I clocked her so hard that the lock flew out the sock. I had one good hit. That one good hit, she went down. I went down with her. Now, when I'm on top of her, they all kicking me, punching me, and I couldn't take that shit. That shit was hurting. So I took the friend that I was on top of, and I rolled and let her get on top of me. Now, she's trying to hit me, and I'm just like this with her body because they all kicking me, punching me, everything. Mind you, I still didn't get not one face shot yet. I'm waiting to get a face shot, but I'm... Like this with the girl. The girl trying to grab me to fight me. Girl, I'm not fighting you. I'm protecting myself. You my shield. Tomorrow, you're going to be sore. I'm going to be good. So, I go to turn this way. I'm like this. Why is my friend on the gate with the bag like this? It's five bitches over there talking about, oh, so you came to fight? You came to fight? What's up? She like, no, no. I don't got nothing to do with this. Girl, what happens to the bleach and the pneumonia and the locks in the sock? And you got... 29 weapons in the bag and you just standing there like I would not have stood there like I understand there was a lot of girls I don't care what y'all gotta say in the comments I understand it was a lot of girls and sometimes you just like no I'm not about to do that but at the same time don't talk about what you about to do don't be acting all tough and shit and then when we get to the situation you all shaky cause honestly I was scared too like I was scared too Honestly, the only person who was not scared was my mother. Like, I think she been through this in life because she, the way she was fighting them, she was ready. Like, my mother did not hit the floor not one time. I'm the only one who hit the floor. My mother did not hit that floor not one time. She was just boom, boom, boom. Like, she was a, she was ducking and weaving, ducking and weaving. They was pulling on her hair, but it was glued and weaved because everybody wore the glued and weaved at the time. And it was, it was coming out in their hands and she was boom. Boom, knocking them out. She was knocking them out. I'm looking at my friend. I'm like, oh, when I get up, I'm not even fighting these bitches no more. I'm going to fight you because you're stupid. Why? Why? So I get up because they all run off. For some reason, they all run off. So I'm looking for my mother. My mother is, she got her back against the gate, which is my aunt building. So she's going inside the building, but it's so many of them swarming towards her that she's punching and she's grabbing, but she can't do so much because they all gonna fall, like get her. So she keep backing up, backing up. So I notice they all start running towards the building. All I hear is, oh, I don't know what happened. I'm going to tell y'all what she told me after, but I don't know what happened. They all just ran that way. So I get up. I'm pushing my friend on the gate. I'm like, you dead serious? You not going to jump in like you? That's fucked up. Like, why would you not jump in? She's like, it's mad at them. Like, it's mad at them. Like, I'm sorry, but like, I'm like, bitch, what did you come for? Like, I'm confused. Why did you come? I'm pushing her on person. I'm hitting her. She's not doing nothing back. She's just standing there looking stupid. I'm like, bro, I don't even got time for this. 
I'm trying to find now. Now I'm about to go help my mom. She's on the phone calling the cops. Like, girl, we've been getting jumped for the last 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure somebody called the cops already. Like, nobody cared what you're talking about. You calling cops? Bitch, we getting jumped. You my friend, right? You my friend, right? You're not doing nothing. No smoke. All my other friends would jump in. Like, you not saying nothing. So, I'm like, all right, cool. So, I start running towards the building now. Next thing is like 20 cop cars come out of nowhere, but I'm running through to the building and I'm pushing through the crowd because I'm trying to see what's going on. I'm trying to see what's going on, figure out what's going on. All I see is they start running out, but it's so many of them, I still, it's still a lot in there that's fighting. So my mother is standing on the top, the third step. The girl that jumped me with her mother the first day, my mother has her hair. She has her hair, and she just uppercutting her, uppercutting her. And the other girls are trying to grab my mother, but my mother is blocking them with the girl's body. I don't know how the fuck she was doing. She was, like, like uppercutting her, like, swinging her. Like, every time they try to put their arms, she was, like, swinging. So they couldn't get to my mother. So the sister climbed up the two steps. My grandmother was right there telling them, stop, everybody, stop, stop. My grandmother wore wigs at this time. Why did the sister call herself pulling my grandmother's wig off? But she pulled my grandmother's wig off, like off. You think my grandmother can She pulled her own wig off outside plenty of times. When she pulled my grandmother's wig off, my grandmother took her hair and was pulling it with two hands, like trying to pull her up by her fucking hair. And I'm looking at my grandmother. I'm in a crowd like, yo, trying to get through to help them. But I'm looking at my grandmother. She's just pulling this girl hair, pulling this girl hair, yanking it, yanking it. Talking about, bitch, you want to play with me? Bitch, you want to play with me? Like three other girls start climbing up and they start hitting my grandmother. But the way they hit her, my grandmother's like this. Bitch, you want to play with me? Bitch, you want to play with me? I got something for that ass. That's how my grandmother's doing. Don't laugh. Don't judge me. And don't think I'm lying. I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> like, she was pulling the girl to the point where I wanted to laugh, but we still in the middle of a fight. So, I'm like, and then at that, I'm trying not to get seen. Like, bitch, they know who I am. Bro, my grandmother's pulling this girl. So, she lets her go. She finally lets her go. Everybody runs out because the cops is there. My mother finally let the girl go. She lets her go. My grandmother got two clumps of the girl hair in her head. Two clumps of the girl hair. I'm just looking like, yo, is they serious? Bruh, that shit was mad funny. It wasn't funny, but it was funny because we got jumped. But see, my grandmother was good because she was on the top step. My mother, she just was with the shit, so she knew. I'm not saying my mother the best fighter. I'm just saying the middle school girls, they couldn't handle my mom's because she was wilding on their ass. But me, they knocked me on the floor like always. Well, I'm always getting knocked on the floor. Like, I don't understand. Like, even if I win, even fights that I win, I got, I done got knocked on the floor and got back up. Like, girl, you always getting pushed over. My balance ain't shit, and I'm over here fighting. Like, what? So... Long story short, they jumped the shit out of us. My friend did not help me. I stopped talking to that bitch after that. And then me and her wound up fighting too. I, that's another story time. Um, but we definitely wound up fighting after that. <laughs> we definitely wound up fighting. But, um, yeah. I didn't have time to call Baby D. They didn't have time to call her friends back. We got jumped. And you know what's crazy? I had glued and weave in my head. When I went upstairs, my all oh, my glue and weave was still in my head. And I had a bloody, like, my nose was bleeding. So I took the water, you know, cleaned it up, looked at my face, no marks. Weave still in. They did mess up my polo boots, though. That, you know, that's when polo boots was popping. I had the new ones, I told you. I messed up the polo boots, but no scars. Looked at my mom. The only thing that was wrong with my mom is that her weave was out. She just had her Meek Millie's in. But no scars. Looked at my grandmother. Her wig was off. Nothing. No scars. Looked at my friend. Of course, she not going to have scars. She didn't do nothing. And by the time this happened and the cops came ready, my friend had already ran off and left. She's ass. That's why I beat her ass the next time. 
But anyway, yeah, that's that's the time that me, my mother, and my damn grandmother got jumped. It was three fights, three days. Now that I look back on it, what the fuck did we fight for? I know why I fought. Bitch, I'm tired of you talking to me anyway. I, every time I go to the store, I come through with a friend. You talking about me and my friends. You trying to fight. She always was trying to fight me. And I'm like, why you always want to fight me? Like, I don't want to fight you. I don't know you. I don't even know your name. Like, when I first, when we first moved to that block, we wasn't no sadiddy, hi, sadiddy, oh, ah, oh, ah. No, we wasn't none of that. We was regular girls going to middle school, like, and then you want to fight us. But then I started seeing why I'm prettier than you. And I'm not conceited at all. But I was dead ass prettier than her. My grandmother took care of me. So I was dressed up. I was like, I wasn't always fly. You know, but I was put together. I was well put together. So I noticed her mother never really did, got her hair done, and it just used to be sticking up all over the place. And the stuff she used to wear used to be too small for her. She, I know they really didn't have nothing, but I never walked past and said, oh, that's why you don't got your hair done. No. I kept my braids in. Well, my grandmother kept my braids done, or I had a gluten weave that my mother would do, or I had my real hair flat iron, like, wash and set, like, and I noticed she didn't have any of that. She didn't have the stuff that we had. And on top of that, they boyfriends liked us. They boyfriends liked us. And we wasn't trying to give them no play. Every time we would walk past and they would try to talk to us in front of them, we would ignore them and keep walking. We wouldn't even smile, laugh, say, ha ha, none of that. We straight face, keep it moving. We don't want no problems. Like, we don't know y'all. If anything, we could have been friends. But... They just didn't like us. And they used to say, oh, these new bitches on the block think they cute. We don't think we cute? Whatever. I hate when females do that. Try to... It is what it is. We was young, so I'm not even going But anyway, yeah, that's the time I got jumped. And it didn't hurt. That time didn't hurt. We had beef forever after that. But nothing really, you know? transpired everybody just went on living their life we i think it's because we grew up like we grew up and we was like what are we fighting for and then she started to get a little bit fly and then she started to get her hair done after like four good years so i was like oh so now she not messing with, like she not hating no more got that ass beat yeah you beat that ass you beat my ass one time you and your mom you was already beating me up. I'm still confused on why you was already beating me up if she jumped in. But whatever. I would never know. I would never even... I don't even care. Anyway, yeah. So, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not a subscriber, honey, you have to stand up during these story times, okay? Everybody else get a seat, but you have to stand up, okay? So, stop playing and just join the Black Beauty Crew. It's free. Click that button and click that bell notification so every time I drop another video that you're notified because listen, I'm about to be dropping them, dropping them, dropping them back to back. This is my second video I recorded today, so stay tuned. And make sure y'all follow all of my social medias, especially my business page. You already know. Bye, ladies.